of you have been invited to spend some time at the sanctuary, either for a decompression stay, um, medicinal gathering, or a retreat, I've probably asked you to bring a stone with you. And this is a perfect size stone. It could go a little bigger, a little smaller. Um, <clears throat> And the, these stones, sometimes we work with them in our, um, in our practice, in medicinal ways for our, our healing work or our intentional work. They end up in the cairn at the sanctuary. And so I thought I would uh, mention a little bit about what a cairn is. Um, <clears throat> a, a cairn is, it's the Gaelic word for basically a pile of stones that have been created with intention. And usually these cairns, they commemorate um, or honor uh, an event or a person. Um, sometimes they're place markers as well. And, um, and so the, an event might be um, a significant happening like a battle. Um, honoring a person, it might be um, an impactful person who has passed on their, their death, perhaps to commemorate their death. Um, and in this case, at the, the sanctuary, this cairn is dedicated to our gratitude um, to two things, uh, to the land that we're on and to my grandmother who m made the sanctuary possible. And so when we place our stones in the cairn, it is an act of gratitude. Um, we take a moment, we really embody um, our appreciation for being able to gather and have our healing time. And cairns are, they're, they're fairly, as far as I can tell, a fairly universal cultural practice. Um, everywhere from Somalia and Mongolia to the UK to east coast of Canada, the, the Inuit with their Anukshuks, like sometimes they're just a, a loosely piled pile. And other times they're more Mm, symmetrically placed, sometimes they represent a human. And uh, so this is uh, just a little taste of some of the practices that we that we have at the sanctuary. A little bit of a background story as to um, why I ask for a stone to, to be brought. Um, so this stone uh, would come from the land from where you are. It might come close to your home or it might come from a place that is uh, special and dear to your heart, somewhere where you tend to go to recharge and replenish one of your favorite nature places. And when we gather um, from nature, we never just take. And so I really um, encourage and ask that uh, instead of just coming along and picking up a stone, that you go for a medicinal walk, um, like a meditation walk. Um, see who's calling out to you, see which stones catch your eye. Maybe you're just walking along and, and something pops out to you. Maybe it's a stone that someone gives you. You know, sometimes people give nice round stones or smooth stones and they just pass it along to you. Um, but if you're, if you're finding a stone out in nature, please do check in. Make sure that you feel that you have permission. Let this stone know that you are, would like to place it um, ceremoniously with gratitude and intention for your healing work that you've experienced and if you get that yes feeling leave something behind leave a gift behind because you're you're receiving a gift and so you know this might be a strand of your hair it might be some some reiki it might be a song tobacco um, crystal this kind of thing so see what feels right for you and um, bring your stone and over time, you know, the cairn at the sanctuary is going to grow and grow and grow. And as it does, it really becomes more um, magnetized and signifying just all of the community and healing work that is happening. Sometimes in the world we forget, you know, we get overwhelmed with some of the, the burdens in life. And uh, so it can be really profound to see that uh, these, these cairns have grown quite so large. All right, bye for now.